What time is it? It's Arduino time! I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is October 20th, 2015, and in this video I'll be going over how to play the Adventure Time theme song on the Arduino. But more importantly, I'm going to be teaching you how to convert sheet music into Arduino code. If all you want is just to download this code and play with it, here is a, I put it up as a gist on GitHub, and the link is in the show notes, uh, but here's a close up of the link if you can't get to that. Now before I jump into the code, let me give some special thanks to some sites that I use, and also anything I refer to should be in the show links. Now where I got uh, the information from this was somebody made a Super Mario Brothers theme song, Arduino Code. And here's a link to this, and I'll, maybe I'll play it real quick. At any rate, he's the one who did the hard part of the coding. Let me see if I can... You can go to this site and download the code. Um, and I'm sure I'm going to pronounce his, his name wrong. Dipto Pratoxa? I'm really sorry. I'm, I, I can't... <laughs> I probably murdered that name. But I basically took his code and edited it a little bit. He's the one who figured out all the frequencies and all the, the basics on how to get it working. And he went through and found out all the uh, music information for the Mario Brothers song, which is probably pretty difficult. Now, as far as frequencies goes, the musical notes have frequencies. So I found this website where you can actually go down and get all the, the hertz for every single frequency. And if you look over at my code here, you'll see where I defined frequencies. So there's C. I'm calling it C not. I'm not a musician, so I'm going to probably murder a lot of things here. But I defined some notes. So there's C not 16 hertz. And as you go down, you can see that I've mimicked that. Now, most of this code was from the Super Mario Brothers guy, uh, but I did add a few notes in on the low end, on the high end, that he didn't add. Now, another site I found, I went and found this site that actually had the Adventure Time theme music. And so we'll go over that in a minute. Um, then I also found this, just as a website just showing the scale for all the notes. Now, I'm not a musician, so I'm horrible. I don't know how to read notes at all, but I had to go teach myself to actually get this code working. But the links to all these websites uh, should be in the show notes. Now, how does this code work, and how can you write your own code? Now, at the end of the day, this is just doing pulse width modulation, and just kind of doing a square wave, really. So if I go down to the piece of the code that's actually doing the noise, I'm just really using Tone, which is an included library in Arduino. And so all that is is you pass in the speaker pin and... Um, the actual frequency, this is the frequency that you want to send in and how long the note is going to, the fre how long you want to play that frequency. That's all it does. Simple as that. And that's how that part works. Now, if you want to actually do music versus just a frequency, uh, you have to come in here and define all the notes. Now I defined all these notes, but I actually commented most of them out because I don't need them for the music piece that I am doing. If you do need those notes, uncomment them and use them in your project. And I figured out for this project, I just needed these notes, um, G4, all the, these frequencies. I'm not a musician, so um, those are the frequencies I needed for this particular song. But I left all these in there. If anyone wants to use them, they can just uncomment them, and they're already, they're already defined. So now what you have to do is you have to make a melody and a tempo on how long the notes are going to last. So what I did, um, copying his notes, copying the notes from the Mario Brothers guy and trying to figure out how best to do this, you, you go in and you look at someone else's music. Look at someone's music here. So here's some musical notes. And I'll play this real quick. Well, now how do you convert that? into the music. Now, I had some back and forth in this. It was a little difficult for me to figure out. So, back from my ancient music days, you know, each section here in between the bars is a full note. And so then you have to define, like, if I remember right, this little circle is a full note. But then you also have to figure out what does each one mean. So, 
a line here that's a quarter note. This is a sixteenth note. Um, I guess these are quarter notes, but they're holding it. So you have to go figure out the duration of each note and what it means and make sure that every section adds up to one. And you also have to consider the rests. So this is a, I know I'm going to say this wrong. Is that a sixteenth rest or a fourth rest? Well, I can look at my notes. It's an eighth rest. So then what you do is you go do the notes. In mine, I can kind of, I don't need to do this first part. I don't need to do a rest, so I can skip that. So now I need to find out what this note is. So this is a an eighth note. And what line is it on? It's on this line. If I go look over here, let me pull this down so I can actually see them side by side. Um, we go up to there, and we see that it's one line below, and there it is. It's a D. And so you can see over here in my notes, there's a note D5. And so I can go along in here and do all this stuff. So I can, if I figure out, so I can figure out what all the notes are in. And as the notes go, I just put them in here. So there's D5, G5, et cetera, et cetera. And whenever there's a rest, you put a zero in. A zero is a rest. So you can just put all your notes in line as they're written. And I'll show, make sure to add all the rests and just put the rests in a zero. And then you have to define how long each note lasts. So in this case, the first note is a, an eighth note. And so there's a, there's a reason why you do this because of the way it does integers, but I'm, and I'm following kind of what, um, the Mario Brothers guy did. And so for an eighth note, I put in 24. And for a quarter note, I put in 12. A three eighths note would be eight, and a half note would be a six. So a full note would be a, should be a one. What am I? Anyway, that's, that's my cheat sheet. That's all I needed to do. And so that, this tells how long it's going to, uh, last, but it's done with some math. So you just put in the numbers. So 20, so you, you match up the notes. So here's these two array lists. You, here's the notes. And here is the duration. Although it's the fractional duration, it's kind of inverse. So the numbers are bigger if it's quicker. Um, anyway, so you fill all those out and you get it the way you want. And then you figure out the number of the notes. This, this is just taking those arrays and finding the number of the notes. And then it just plays them. And what it does, it takes the, the tempo, the note duration, and it divide, you take a number. In my case, I use 3,250 and you divide it by that duration. So you can see why a quicker note needs a bigger number. And so you divide it by that number. And this is the number you can tweak this. If I tweak this number, it'll run faster or slower. And um, let me see which way it is. So if I, if I increase this number, it will run slower. If I decrease this number, it'll run faster. But you can tweak this and get it to the speed you want. So you only have one section where you have to tweak the speed. And then what it does is it um, it'll delay. So it delays the note duration. Oh, sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. So if it happens to be a rest, which means it'll equal zero, it'll pause for that note duration. And then if it's not a zero, it doesn't need to pause. It'll just simply play that note for the, the for the duration that note should play. And then when that note is done, and I guess this is something, I'm not a musician, but I guess this is something the Mario Brothers guy figured out that you need to have a little extra pause after you play the note the way that the Arduino is working, I guess, or maybe that's the way music works because you can't just go from one note to the other. You need a little bit of pause in between. And so he figured out to do the pause at 1.3 times. And it seems to work pretty good. So I'm kind of following his notes. So there's the pause duration. And so the pause duration actually changes based on the size of the note, the how long a note is played. And that's all there is to it. And then it just... Uh, in this case, it loops. And so in my loop, I call this adventure time and the adventure time defines all these notes and it just plays. It'll play one time. And after it plays, it'll pause five seconds and play again. Now it's not the cleanest code in the world, but it's simple and you can see how you can write your own music. So all you need is some sheet music. And I would say, recommend to take it slow because it, it took me a little while to, to, if you don't know how to read music, it takes me, it, it took me a long while to get it correctly. Um, oh, and another thing, if you're like me and you can't read music, I got this all together and then it 
sounded almost right. And I found another thing. There's these sharp notes. So what happens is at the front, I'm not a musician, so I'm going to be using the incorrect words. But here in the front, you see this uh, sharp sign that looks like a pound symbol, kind of a little angled. And you can see it's on this line. And if I look down here in the notes, I can see that line right there would be an F. And so if there's that sharp there, what that means is any note that's on that line, and there is one, because that's what messed me up, is not an F, but an F sharp. Oh, there it is right there. So because of this sharp sign here, that's not an F. It's an F sharp. And an F sharp is different than an F. And it's defined differently. So if I look through my code a little bit, there it is. F sharp. The F is, the S is for the sharp. It's a little bit of a different frequency. And that was a, a gotcha for me because I'm not a musician. That's how you can convert sheet music into our Arduino code and run it. One more thing. There's a reason I chose pin 11 for this. One, it's one of the few that can do a uh, pulse width modulation, which is what you need to actually use the tone. Uh, but more importantly, it's actually a perfect length between, uh, for these small piezo electric, these, what do they call them, piezo electric, um, speakers. And it's kind of perfect to go from 11 to ground. So if I try to collect, connect number 11 to ground, it should be a good fit right there. And I can just plug it in and power it. So it just makes this project that much simpler. So that's it for this uh, tutorial on how to play music on the Arduino. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Patman Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.